Welcome to Untap VA. I'm Jay Gates. And I'm Bianca Bryan. We're here in Suffolk, Virginia, in front of the Suffolk Cultural Arts Center. Suffolk is so widespread and there's so little time. We've actually decided we're going to divide and conquer this city today. So while Bianca's over in the downtown area, I'm going to head over and meet some decent people in the Harborview section. So you ready to do this? Let's do it. Let's do it. Today we're in the Harbor View area of Suffolk, Virginia with some decent people that have a more than decent approach to serving that sweet nectar we call beer. Today we're at Decent People Tap Room. Let's check it out. So uh, it's my first time here and I can't help but notice there's no bar or a bartender. How's this work? Well, we're a little different. Uh, welcome to Decent People. We are a self-serve tap room and a full-service restaurant at the same time. So uh, you can actually go to your table, order like a regular restaurant, pay like a regular restaurant, but you don't have to wait for a bartender to make your drinks. Every time you come in, you come up here to the Tata, and we get a beer card started for you. That's actually your tap activation card that gives you access to the 44 taps. In order to do that, I'm going to need to see your ID. That's okay. I got one of those. <laughs> oh, I thank you. And then uh, also a credit or debit card, either way. Got one of those too. Perfect. We don't use this for payment of any kind. This is simply just in case, uh, since your tap activation card is only good for today, we just want to make sure that the tap card doesn't actually walk out of the building. I got you. Makes no sense. Idea. Yeah. Very decent of you. OK, you're all set. Our beer guide, Aaron, will take your learning experience from here. Thank you so much. Sure. Appreciate it. So what you're going to do, you're going to grab yourself a glass. You can grab any size glass you want, small, big. Right now, if you just want to get a little taster of it, you can grab these small taster glasses right here. You're going to take your card, you're going to pop it in the slot right here, and that turns on the two taps, so it's split down the middle, so left and right. So we're going to go with the left one. So take the glass, tilt it, and let the beer slide down the side of the glass so you get a good pour. Another important step is to slap the handle forward, and then slap it back fast so it doesn't foam up at all. So then when you're done, go ahead, take your card, take it out, and it charged how much you poured to the card. And it goes by cents. Every beer is different. Some beers will be 30 cents, some are more. So these things have a 32 ounce limit to it. It's more like an ABC law, because as a bartender, I have to check how much you're drinking, make sure you don't get too drunk, and then drive home. But because I'm not over here monitoring, uh, monitoring you at all, the card has 32 ounces on it, so as soon as you hit that limit, it'll say you're empty. You have to find me to at least evaluate you, make sure you're okay, so I reactivate it so you can start uh, pouring beer again. So the majority of beers that we have on tap are Virginia craft beers. We try to keep it as local as possible. Of course, we have other beers that we have on tap too, but in the end, we try to keep it with just Virginia craft beers. I'm here with Wes McCullough, one of the partners here at Decent People. So Wes, tell me, how did this all get started? Uh, Decent People was born from the idea that my partners and I could create something to work for ourselves and not just have a standard nine to five, working hard for somebody else. We work hard for ourselves. My partner Todd and I knew each other through our Navy Reserve Unit locally here in Norfolk. And my partner Eric, we knew each other from back home in Georgia. And we collaborated on ideas around craft beer because we're all home brewers and really enjoyed the concept. The growing craft beer community in Hampton Roads has been great to watch over the past couple of years. But we wanted to bring a new concept in. So this gives somebody complete freedom to explore. Uh, it takes some of the pretentious nature out of maybe feeling like you can mispronounce the name of a beer and get a nose turned to you. We're able to even bring in people who might want just a glass of wine, people who are hungry. We have a great menu and people who really like craft beer that might come as a one-off stuff that we've uh, coordinated with breweries to get allocated to us. 
and to be able to give new beers to people who might just like those standard lawnmower beers who might not be aware that a local brewer makes something comparable that they would like and to keep that in their own community. Speaking of community, um, we're here in the Harbor View area of Suffolk. Why, what was it about this area that, that drew you towards it? What drew us to Harbor View the most was the growth opportunity that Suffolk had presented for new businesses and there was really a need for us. Uh, other cities would like us but there wasn't really a need for us and this being our first spot it seemed like a, a safe bet to to get into a community that would welcome us as something they haven't had before. It's a tap room but it's a, it's a different style as far as the concept goes. You got beer all across the wall but that's not what you want to just be known for. T tell me about the food that you have here because it's really outstanding. The foods are really really great addition to what we got going on and it's all stuff that can pair well with the beers that we've, we've sourced. The food here at Decent People Tap Room is not your traditional bar food. It is approachable. We've designed this menu with everyone in mind. Taste buds all the way down to Carolina, all the way up to DC and New York. Our menu flexes from season to season with the availability of the produce and our proteins. We try to incorporate fresh ingredients. Everything you will taste is made, labored over. We do try to source locally everything that we can. We're uh, working right now with a couple different farms in Carolina to try to get our produce from here because people are from here and we would like the food to reflect that. Our signature items are the Caribbean jerk seared chicken paired with a tropical rice and a garlic butter asparagus. And we have our blackened tacos which are just three basic tacos with you know, homemade seasoning here and just a refreshing dish. The approachability here and, and the uh, openness of Decent People Tap Room is why I think people should come and try it out. The ability to pour your own beer, try different things, have some of our food that is a little bit out of the box, and uh, that, that's what I think our main, you know, our main attracting quality is. So talking about the beer, because again, that's, uh, that's what brings so many people in. Tell yeah. me about the different uh, varieties of beer, the different breweries you work with, and, and how that happens. Most of the beer that we source, we try the best we can to stay local. What we'd like to do is be able to give the community something that they don't have access to through a bottle shop or through the big chain stores. You don't have to drive all the way to that brewery. You can come to us, and they still get the benefit because they're selling and promoting their beer, and we get to represent that. I think that's one of the, the coolest things I've seen is when you go to a brewery, you can get a flight of the different beers that that brewery has. But here, you can literally have a flight of breweries where each beer Absolutely. comes from a different spot, whether it be in Hampton Roads or another brewery in Virginia. And so yeah. you're literally, you can get the best of Virginia all in one spot. Absolutely. And they, they, they all have their things that they're known for that a lot of them distribute locally already. And you can, you can pick them up here and there. Uh, what we want to do is really have those beers that people aren't aware without going to the brewery that they could get from us or the brewery mm -hmm. so that it's not just the same old, same old. They want to grow as well and we want to be able to support that. Uh, with decent people here, this is, a, this is a good neighborhood spot. I think that uh, growth for us would mean going into a similar community with the same sort of growth pattern and being able to find the people and the the crowd that would enjoy it. There's still a huge community out there that we're trying to reach um, and, and give our support to them and see if we can get some love back. Well, that's it for me from Decent People Tap Room. I'd like to thank all the decent people that make this place so special from the kitchen to the front of the house and everywhere in between. Also, special thanks to the city of Suffolk. If you're ever in the Harborview area, make sure you come by Decent People Tap Room. You'll come for the beer but you'll stay for the food. Stick around for more Untapped VA. We'll see you in a minute.